Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a little bit of a mod. So we're here at the menu, guys, and we're going to go in here, and as you guys can see from the name of this, Sonic Shaders, guys. So this mod is, as you can see, probably one of the most beautiful mods I have ever seen in Minecraft, guys. Absolutely amazing to look at, guys. Um, basically, if you guys want a little quick lesson on how it basically works, uh, pretty much... In default Minecraft, you have a static, uh, static light source. So all the trees always cast a shadow directly down, and that that never changes. And then once you enter an area that doesn't like all, a light source is always directly above. Is what I'm trying to say. Wherever you are, the light source follows straight above you, and that's basically how shadows react around you. Now, what Sonic Shaders does is. It's a little bit processor intensive, but it adds a dynamic global light source. So everything reacts to this one light source that works independent of you and is always moving with the sun. So right now it's sunrise and it's up, or sorry, sorry noon and it's up there. If I go into my little creative mode here with too many items and I set it to sunrise, as you guys can see, it looks amazing. It's all orangey and stuff, just like it actually would be for a sunrise. And it's really realistic and it's just, it's really just interesting to use. It's really cool. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it does use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of your CPU, right? So, you're going to need to have a decent computer, a desktop, probably. As you guys can see right here, you guys can see, I'll F1 it for you. You guys can see that this tree is moving. Like, it, it adds these animations to everything. Same thing with the grass, guys. If I go over to the grass, you'll see it moving. You guys can see that, right? There, it's moving. And uh, it just makes everything look more beautiful. A lot of bigger, or not a lot, but a few bigger Minecrafters like Nooch and stuff like that, uh, YouTubers and stuff like that, they use it. Uh, there's not too many big, big guys that use it just simply because uh, it's impractical. Uh, you, it, it's, it is beautiful, but you need a really good processor to run it. Uh, it does slow down your frames, and uh, your graphics card will suffer from it. But uh, so, like, for instance, I have, I'll put this in the description, I have a uh, Core 2 Quad 2 6700 graphics, or er, processor, quad core 2.66 gigahertz uh, stock speed and still at stock speed at an overclock and then we got my graphics card which is a gigabyte 560 ti 448 core 320 bit gigabyte uh, 320 bit and uh, 1.25 gigabytes of uh, ddr5 ram so that probably means nothing to a lot of you guys and that's fine but um, guys at least try this out if you guys aren't too computer savvy i will show you guys in a tutorial at the end of the video how to install this but um it's uh, really simple to install, and uh, just test it out. See if your computer can handle it, see what type of frames you get. And uh, yeah, so anyway, hopefully you guys stay for that part of the video, but uh, it's a really beautiful mod, guys. Hello, guys, back again for the second part of this video. Hopefully you guys believe this is a pretty cool mod, and hopefully you guys try to install it for yourself, guys. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of how to open it up. You just do uh, Windows key R, type in app data, hit enter, and it'll pop up here with your, mine, or your roaming. And then from your roaming, you're going to click Doc Minecraft, and then you're going to go to your bin. Now, you're going to need to access this later on, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder on our desktop called Backup, guys. You're going to want to do this just in case it doesn't work out for you guys, because you don't want to lose all of your game saves. You don't want to lose all of your mods that you could already have installed uh, in case you want to get rid of this. So you're just going to type in Backup that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already do this, but regardless, I'm just showing you guys how to do it so that uh, in case this doesn't work for you, you guys always have a backup. So I accidentally didn't control C and control V that. So I'm going to do this. Paste it in right there. And pretty much the install is extremely simple, just like most other mods. So I'm going to open up my mods folder. Uh, we have it here in other mods and then Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders V08 Windows. Now, the link for this will be in the description. I, There might be a Mac version. I really don't know. I didn't look into it. But um, basically, you're going to be downloading this. This is what you're going to download. And by default, I believe it's the Ultra version. Like, it's Ultra settings. It's, uh, it's got motion blur. It's got everything on it. Uh, and that is really hard on your PC. So uh, you're going to install this by default, though. And then if your computer, if you, you're going to run it, test if your computer can do it. So in order to do that, you're going to hit install, click yes, and then right here. And then you click install mods. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. It's just going to go uh, unpack everything, do all that installing stuff. And then it's going to say install complete. And then you're going to close it. And then from there, you can go... It'll say this right here, and then you just close. It did install correctly, by the way, just so you guys know. And then, sorry, I needed that folder, actually. 
uh, you're gonna go back here, and then you're gonna go to whatever. So say, say you run Minecraft and it doesn't work for you. It's just super low frame rate. What you can do is you can try the different versions of that. Now it says right on the forum when, where you're downloading from, the link where you're downloading it from, to try all of the different uh, ways of, the, all the different modifications of it. So uh, for me personally, I can run this one, ultra, no motion blur, uh, or depth of field. So basically depth of field just blurs the background. I can run this one, even though it's ultra, so this is the max quality, uh, I can run this one, but I can't run the low quality settings with motion blur or depth of field. It just seems that those are the things that my computer just can't handle. So guys, try all the different ones out. I did that, and this is the only one, or this is the best uh, quality one so far. And what you have to do is you just hold on, right click it, open with, WinRAR, and then you're gonna go here. You can go bin. You can go to your, my, dot my, or your Minecraft.jar. You can go open with my, WinRAR, and then from there, you're just going to open up your shaders folder here. And there will be files in here. What you have to do is you open up this and you replace them with these files. You're just gonna drag and drop these in, uh, and then click OK. So uh, I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it here. And then you should be able to launch Minecraft. And you won't see an immediate difference. There's going to be nothing changed about Minecraft when you first load it up. Uh, and then once you load up a single player or even multiplayer map, then when you play it, you will see that Sonic Shaders is activated. Uh, pretty cool mod, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys at least test it out, because it definitely is worth a try. Um, pretty cool. But um, it, it's just it's just so beautiful, guys. It's so beautiful. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, remember to leave a rating. If you already haven't, remember to subscribe and join the nation. And here are a couple videos that, guys that you may have missed. The video on the left is going to be a mountain survival that I did with my friend Pocket Island. I thought it was going pretty good. And the video on the right is going to be a video with the Bayesian Canadian, guys. This is the final video of the Battle Dome series. If you guys have been paying attention to it, remember to go check it out and maybe leave a like. Anyway, I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Peace.